window. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Um, if you do want to stick around, then please give this one a like and subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps me out. Um, as you can see by the title, I have got a cherries haul. Cherries. So they got in touch with me again and they have kindly gifted um, the items in this box. So I really, really appreciate that. I still get so overwhelmed when I get these emails off um, different businesses. So thank you to Cherries for gifting this to me. Um, now, if you're not aware of what Cherries are, they're a bit like a Poundland, Home Bargains, B&M, but online. And they do like all your essentials, really. So they do snacks they do you know cupboard items they do christmas gifts they do homeware lots and lots of things so i'm going to put something here just to show you everything that they actually do on the website and it's it's really really affordable but also if you are new to cherries that anyone putting their first order in over £20, you get a £25 discount using the code SEANBOSHEL25. It's a huge saving, but if you have been on Cherries before, you know that it's absolutely amazing and really, really affordable. If you want to see what I've got on my Cherries haul this time and just continue to watch, also do like a delivery pass, which I think works out to be £1 a month. Um, you do pay it as an annual pass, but I'll put the information here for you. And I'll also put everything in the description box below. I don't know about anyone else, but I am feeling so Christmassy at the moment. I just, I can't wait for Christmas. And it's really strange because I haven't actually celebrated Christmas really since um, my Isabel passed away. This is my Isabel here, yeah. Got some photos of her in the background. That's my son there, Marcus. Uh, so let's get in it. I've got my scissors here. Oh, also as well, you might want to grab yourself a cuppa because it might be a long one. They packaged them brilliantly with all the um, extra paper in here just to keep everything from getting broken. There we go. I'm going to try and get the um snacky bits out of the way first and then we'll go on to the christmas bits which is, i'm so excited about i just i'm so excited for christmas i really am um yeah so let's get into it so first item is these from seabrook these are such a nice flavor they're cheese and thai flavor and they remind me i don't know if anyone remembers the walkers um cheese and thai flavor um, when they had the Spice Girls on them, they were advertising the Walkers in the 90s, many, many moons ago. Um, but they taste just like these, so... Excuse me. I want to try and put all the prices on the screen for you. Um, yeah, that's my first item. I've seen these and... Oh, the Gillian Sweet. Um, temptations, four flavours. You've got milk, truffle, caramel, crunchy biscuit, an original praline. Did I say original praline? Four flavours, original praline, milk, truffle, caramel, crunchy biscuit. Yeah, there we go. These are such nice chocolate. I'm going to try my best to save these for Christmas, but I very much doubt it because they are delicious. And as soon as I've seen these, I've got to get them. So... That's the second one. We also got some cute Who Remembers Jazzles. Oh, they do the white chocolate ones as well, but I'm a sucker for milk chocolate. I absolutely love these. So as soon as I've seen these, I thought they're going in my basket. I've got me some of them. Also got some of the fish and chips, salt and vinegar flavour. These are just yummy so they're gonna be eaten up also got some these say double dipped chocolate toffees 
I didn't know whether they were going to be like um, chocolate eclairs, but it looks like the chocolate's on the outside. Um, oh, it says, it says Walker's there. That's not Walker's, as in Walker's crisps, is it? England's finest, Walker's non-such. Favourite coffees for generations made with whole milk, so they do look really nice, though. Thought I'd give them a whirl. Some Kleenex balsam tissues. It is obviously the time of year when we get our little colds and flu and things like that. So, yeah, I absolutely love these tissues and just thought they, they're just good to put in your bag as well. I like to have a pack in my bag every time I go out. So get eight packets in there and I thought they were a really good price as well. I've got these ones. Um, I actually got these for me and Matthew. So these are the Derma, Derma V10 Honey and Almond Deep Moisturising Foot Pack. They're rich with honey, almond and vitamin E. So deeply moisturise the skin, helping to soothe and soften dry, rough, cracked heels. So there we are. So I thought one night when we were watching telly, me and Matthew could do the foot mask. Uh, yeah, my feet are still quite dry from, you know, wearing sandals and flip-flops in summer. So I thought I might try some of them, see if it helps. Rocky's come to say hello. Can you hear him? Let me turn you around a bit. Hello. <laughs> Let me just get this done. And then we'll go for a walk. He's okay. You're going to sit down then, be a good boy. Right, another snacky thing I've got is a crunch bar. These are amazing. Absolutely love these. Um, I normally grab one of these if I see them in a paper shop or something, but love them. I've loved them since I was a child, so I've got me one of them. Also picked up some Christmas chocolates. Um, so if you've been watching my channel for a while you'll see the last few weeks i've been collecting the chocolates to go with the nieces nephews and isabel's friends presents for christmas so i've got these packs of munchies that thought would look really cute and munchies are delicious can i have a sip of my tea right so this isn't actually christmasy but it is in a way because I actually got it as a Christmas gift for somebody and I'm not going to say who it is because they may be watching but it's to go in a Christmas box that I'm doing which is the clip-on ring light for perfect selfie lighting. And the reason why I got this is because Izzy had one of these and they are pretty good. Um, so I seen that and just thought of a certain someone so I thought I'll get one of them. Can't say though, because I won't be watching. I also got one of these. I want to try this out in the bath, which has also got my shower in it. So this is a sink strainer and plug. So there's the strainer bit. There's the plug. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you put it straight onto the, the plug hole. And then you can put your plug in it. Or you can just leave that and it will catch the hairs when I'm in the shower. And it'll just be easier to take out because there's nothing worse for me, probably for everyone else as well, because it's awful, I'm trying to get the hair out of the plug hole. And yeah, I mean, it's probably made more for the sink and catch food, but I, I want to see if I can try and catch the hairs because the holes are so much smaller than my plug in my bath. So... I thought I would give that a try and it was a good price. So if it doesn't work, I can always use it in my sink. I'm going to move on to the stuff that I've actually got for Christmas now. So I picked up some of these. These are medium gift bags and you get two in there. So you've got the Santa one and you've got the reindeer one. And I just thought they, they were really cute to put in, you know, the kids Christmas presents in. Not my kids, but nieces nephews and friends of isabel so got some of those and then i also got what some of these as well so they are 3d money wallets and you get four in the pack so you've got a santa one a little elf one snow sorry, snowman 
and a Rudolph one. And I just think that these are really good, good for, you know, the, the more grown up nieces, nephews and friends and whatever. Because, you know, sometimes you don't know what to get them. So pop some mini in a little one in his wallet with some of the Christmas chocolates and they can go and buy themselves something. So I thought that was a really good idea and they were so affordable as well. So I've got some of those. Also got Matthew A air freshener for his car. These are called Adoram Ador Odor Odoramas Odoramas gingerbread air freshener and it's a little elf. I don't know if you can actually smell it. It's not got a scratch and sniff. No, you can't smell anything, but I just thought for Christmas, how cute is that? So that's for Matthew. I've got myself some felt toasters. How cute are these with the stars? And they're just felt. But I just thought because I've got my new unit and I've got my little like round coffee table in the living room. I hate people putting their mugs down and just, you know, leaving coffee and tea stains and I do not want them on the new unit. So you just get four in a pack and I just thought they were really cute. So I got some of them and if they're decent, I might get some more. Right, I've got some of these. These are bauble hooks. Now, I know I get really stressed out when you buy baubles and you've got to put those pieces of um, thread through, they're like string stuff, and tie them up. And you think you've tied it and then they all, you know, they, the bauble comes out of the string and just falls on the floor. And I've never seen these before, so I thought I might give these a go, see if they're any good. Um, it says two sizes for a varied hanging length and there's 200 in a pack. So I thought that... It's a pretty good idea, so I'm going to give them a go. I mean, I'm going to record when I put my tree up and I'm putting everything on it, all the baubles and everything. I will obviously show you how I get on with these. But yeah, I just thought I'd give them a try because they look pretty nifty. I've got some of those. I picked up some rose gold glittered butterflies for my tree as well. Um, these are like little clips. They've got like the little, you see there, they call them the crocodile clips. I can't remember what clips they call them now, but they just clip, clip onto the branches anyway and they're rose gold and I thought they're really cute. And ever since Isabel passed, I always see butterflies. Now, I usually see white ones, um, but my dad sees butterflies all the time as well and he's had a butterfly tattoo put on his arm there. So... Yeah, when I seen those, I thought, yeah, I've got to get those for my tree. I think they're so pretty. I've got two pairs of the cosy socks. Now, it just say ladies, but it does say sizes four to eight. And these are for me and Matthew. These are for me and Matthew to wear around Christmas. Keeping our feet toasty warm when it's all cold. Um, watching telly on the sofa with our hot chocolate. So I thought they were absolutely adorable. I think I might go on and buy some more of these to go in like the, the Christmas boxes that I'm going to do. So yeah, they are so soft as well. Really, really soft. I just love the colours. They just look like elf socks, don't they? Gorgeous. I've seen one of these little boxes. This is a Merry Christmas box. Now, I did buy some boxes the other day from Hobbycraft, which I haven't shown you yet. I've actually left them at mum's, but I will put those in a vlog so you can see those as well. Uh, I think they are twice the size as this. Um, but I got this as a more of a, a grown-up present. So, what's, does it say the sizes on it? No, it doesn't have the sizes, but it, it's not massive. I would say... That is probably 20 centimetres by, did I say 20? Yeah, 20 centimetres by oh, 10 centimetres, something like that. But yeah, I just thought it was really cute. Navy blue with the, with the gold writing and the gold stars and Christmas trees. So yeah, got one of those. Right, now I've got a few items wrapped up, so let me just unwrap these. 
see what I mean with the packaging. You get you use this lovely recyclable packaging to wrap up all the, the delicate things. There was loads of things that I've forgotten that I bought. <gasps> oh, wow. I, I didn't realise these were that big, but stunning. Rose gold angel wings. Oh, look at that. That's going to be one of my large items on my Christmas tree. How cute. My angel wings. My little angel is looking over me, my little Isabel. So when I seen them, I thought they are adorable. To go with my, my rose gold butterflies as well. So how cute is that? Really, really affordable. As I said, I'll be leaving the prices on the screen for you. It's like Christmas, I'm just opening presents up because I just, I just can't remember what I've ordered. Now, I thought this was going to be just a little tiny um, bauble because I thought of Izzy when I seen this. I'm going to take it out of the packaging. And I'm literally getting glitter everywhere. But look at that. It's a burger bauble and it's massive, but I'm still going to put that on Izzy's tree. Her tree's getting quite big. She's had the same tree now. This is going to be the third year she's had this Christmas tree and we've just kept it going it's in a part it's got like a Christmas thing like um Christmas bag over the bottom of it I I'm literally gonna work well on it as well because one of her favorite things was a Big Mac meal from McDonald's and that is brilliant so I'm, I'm so surprised how big it is I should have checked the dimensions really but Adorable. I'm going to put that back in the packet because I'm literally getting gold glitter everywhere. So it needs to stay in the packet until we go up to sort Isabel's Christmas things out. I am going to be moving her Halloween things this Friday. Um, and then I'm just going to have a little bit of a gap. And then I think the 1st of December, we will, will be doing her forever bed again, which this year I'm going to try and record as much as I can. Last year we went up in the dark and it was a nightmare trying to put her winter wonderland up in the dark. So this year I'm doing it in the daytime. So I will record it so you can all see. Right, let's move on to the next one. So... My Isabel was a dancer. She used to go dancing. I think it was six years she was dancing for. So she used to do a lot of different classes. She used to do ballet, tap, street. What else? Um, commercial. There's a lot of, you know, my mind's gone blank at the moment, but she did a lot of things, but she loved her ballet. So I bought these beautiful rose gold ballerinas for the tree. Look how lovely they are. Stunning. So you get two of those and they're rose gold as well. So I'm so looking forward to doing my tree. It's going to look absolutely beautiful with all these bits on. Right, we've just got... Nothing left on that one, is there? No. We've just got two more items. Okay, so I got this for Isabel's Forever Bed at Christmas. It's just a light up Santa. So let me just pull the tab out and light that up. There we go. So it's all lit up. Cute. So I've got Santa. I think that's adorable. Absolutely adorable. And then the last thing I think is similar to that Santa. So let's see. I'm pretty sure it is. So yeah. And this one is the little snowman. And that lights up as well. There we go. 
how cute. So they are going to be so cute on the on her feather bed next to each other. So these will be inside her plexiglass casing that we put over her winter wonderland. But you'll see that, you know, you stick around and carry on watching my videos. Hitting that notification bell helps because it lets you know every time I upload and you will see me sorting at Isabel's Winter Wonderland, which if you haven't seen last year's one, I'll link it in the description box below because it just was magical and hopefully this year will be even more magical and she would have absolutely loved it. So yeah, that is it, I think. Pretty sure. Yep, Cherry's box is empty. So that's everything that I got from Cherry's. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks again to Cherry's for gifting these items to me. I really, really appreciate it. And I love everything that I've got here. It's absolutely wonderful. And it's made me feel even more Christmassy. So as I said at the start, if you are new to Cherries, if you're spending over £20, you get 25% off if you use the code SEANBOSHEL25. I'll pop it on the screen again for you. So yeah, that, that's everything I've got. Exciting. I've had this box here for three days. I've been dying to film it, but I've just been really busy and I thought I would get it done today. So I'm off guys, I hope you're all doing really, really well. And I hope you stick around for more. And thanks for watching, see you all later, bye.